Hi Goody YouTube, I'm Max and today I want to open a 24 booster pack Legacy of Darkness booster box. Um, not the whole box will be opened in this video but the first half and the other half in another video. Um, yeah, I kind of have a decent number of Legacy of Darkness booster boxes in my collection and I just need three so um, yeah, one of the other ones can be opened and if you follow my channel you saw that this one was part of an, of an order I did in the early days of 2024 and uh, unfortunately the packaging was kind of off so most of the booster boxes were a little a little damaged they didn't look that nice so um, this is a good candidate to be opened I'm going to start with the right side and because we are doing stuff in random orders here, I'm going to shuffle the packs. Um, old boxes are usually mappable, so you can uh, assume after you pulled a, a holo card that the fourth pack after that um, is highly likely to have another holo as well. So to avoid uh, some boring stuff like that, I shuffled. Because this is a 24 booster pack box, um, the secret rare that can be pulled in here is Yata Garasu, so the hobby secret. And there are other cards in here uh, that I'd like to see, like Smog Grenade uh, as a super short print for example. Um, some of the spirit monsters are short prints as well. And of course, oh, oh, creature swap right off the bat, nice. That's, oh. That's not even that badly centered for Legacy of Darkness. Will you, will you look at that? Nice! Um, yeah, so the estimated uh, pulls out of this box are two Ultras, four Supers and 50-50 chance for a Secret Rare Yata Garasu. This is a great start. Creature Swap is a, is a cool card. Has some applications in God format and um, yeah. Legacy of Darkness is known for being way off centered most of the time, but this one looks rather good. Good, good, good. Um, yeah. So, first pack was legit. Hmm, I'm uh, thinking right now which holos I'd like to see. Um, I think the, the fusion monsters as super rares are kind of cool, like Fiend Skull Dragon, Dark Balter, Ryu Senshi. Um, Exile Force would be cool as well. Uh, Rota as a super super rare in its original print uh, would be a, a cool card to, to get as well. And yeah, for ultra rares, Tyrant Dragon is nice, Anna Parshath is nice, Dark Ruler Hades was uh, the card that I longed for when the set came out. But I didn't have the money to buy uh, many packs, so uh, I didn't get one. My luck came with uh, the first few sets that had ultimate rares in them. I remember pulling a creator in ulti and uh, a sacred phoenix in ulti. But because I had no idea of card values, I kind of traded them away for not too much, I guess. Oh, Royal Oppression. Speaking of no idea uh, of value, Royal Oppression is kind of... Yeah, more expensive than most of the of the holos in here, because of Goat and Edison. More like Edison in Goat. This card is not too relevant. It can be used, but um, I have not seen many decks run it. But because of Edison and the low amount of uh, different prints this card has, it's rather expensive. And if you didn't know, um, old sets had uh, 17 uh, cards in the rare slots. So if you get a box with uh, four, four supers, two ultras, oh, that's kind of destroyed. What the? Oh yeah. Luckily this isn't like a smoke grenade or something, but uh, yeah, <laughs> this card can go straight into the bin. Um, where was I? Um, if you pull four supers, two ultras and a secret rare, that leaves 17 booster packs without a foil. So you pull each of the rares once in a hobby box 
And for retail boxes, oh, Ashura Priest, I forgot about him, or her, or it. <laughs> um, and it's, yeah, this is a little bit off-centered from left to right, but uh, nowhere near the uh, atrocities that you can usually see out of Pharaoh, uh, not Pharaonic Guardian, out of Legacy of Darkness. Um, that's nice. That's a great super rare as well. So far this box is on fire, you could say. Yeah, so one Royal Oppression per box is kind of standard, and uh, when you open a 36-pack box, you of course hope to see two of that, because some of the rares will be uh, doubles, and even some of the supers can be doubles in 36-pack boxes. I'm, I mean, statistically it can happen in 24-pack boxes too, but it's uh, rather unlikely. And in 36-pack boxes it's not not uh, too special if that happens. Thunder Nayan Nayan. Grey Wing, ready for intercepting, Book of Moon for Warrior and Spellcasters, and Nutrient Z, which was used by Joey in the anime, against Kaiba, I think, when they battled for the Bronze Medal. Next pack. Wait. I have to keep my open packs uh, organized. And so far, all of the packs. Uh, were kind of easy to open. None of the, the packaging were damaged. Oh, Fatal Abacus. For all those of you that uh, didn't enjoy math class <laughs> during school. Life Absorbing Machine. And the Illusory Gentleman. Oh no, I jinxed myself. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that I managed to open the other packs without damaging them. Now it happened, of course. Super Robo Yaru. Bark of Dark Ruler. Oh, after Genocide. One of the censored name cards. The Dragon Dwelling in a Cave. Oh, and I think Radius's option might be a short print. I'm not sure on that. But it's the first card that I suspect to be a short print. For some other cards I'm not sure that they are, like uh, Inaba White Rabbit for example, a card I, I ran back when I was at middle school, or however you call that, uh, what we have in Germany. Last with chain to combo with Gear Freed. Nice. Wing beat of giant dragon. Dragon manipulator. Oh, maybe Gradius's option is not a short print. Because I got two in a row now. Oh no, I killed another pack. How oh, how dare I? Skull Knight number two, Dragon's Rage. Ryukishin Clown, Heart of Clearwater, another card I used with a Submarine Roid and Spell Striker and stuff like that. Infusion Sword Murasama Blade, one of the few cards you can legitimately equip to Gearfried without him destroying it. That was a little weird. Oh, Great Long Nose. This is by uh, by definition a short print. Oh, that didn't make any sense, <laughs> but uh, I know he is a short print. Let's put it like that. Skull Knight number two. The Warrior returning alive. Robo Yaru, Fiend Comedian. That's a trolley common. I like it. Um, but it, it has uh, way more graphic artwork in the original. So another example of TCG censoring OCG stuff. Dragon's Rage again. Ryukishin Clown again. Heart of Clear Water again. Ominous Fortune Telling. The A Forces. And another feed com Fiend Comedian, not Feed Comedian. <laughs> 
Okay, so for the right side, there doesn't seem to be a secret rare. Um, if I get the standard ratio, there should be a super rare in this pack. I shuffled uh, the packs up because I didn't want to have any predictability, but here we are now. I'm predicting a super rare. And am I right? No, I am not. Uh, that's weird. Hmm, Convulsion of Nature. Another trolley card. There are so many trolley cards in here. Fiend Comedian, Convulsion of Nature, Last Turn, for example. Um, yeah, and of course, who can forget, forget about Raid Long Nose? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's it for the first half of this booster box. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you're gonna watch the second part as well. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time on Random Old School Yu-Gi-Oh! Bye-bye!